So, I'm um, going to look at um, the arm bar from the mount from um, what time is it good? So, we've, we've done the, this one here whereby from side control, I got in my lockdown position, control, and then I won the cross face or head pressure, and I'm driving my um, shoulder into Krippy's throat, looking for that reaction so the way he's made the grip. So then I slid the knee up, which is one. This hand grabs the head. Okay, so I'm making sure that he doesn't get this elbow to the mat because the second I slide this up, if there's nothing making a block, Krippy can just move his head and get his elbow in and then I lost that. So the second I slide this one up, this one grabs the head, and this one um, puts pressure on it, and then I make him listen to his shoulder, which is messing with his alignment. Okay. So I'm just going to weaken him, and then from here I'm smearing into S man. I'll swim this through the space. I still keep the grip on the neck, and then I lean towards his legs. Give me a second leg over. I still have the grip. Then I go find the wrist between my knees, into the armbar. So I'm going to do from this. What time is the grip? Slight, slightly different. Okay, so again, from um, side control, turn the knee. So it's the twister side control. This one comes over. I hook it in. And I'm straight into my lockdown position, whereby, you know, usually when you get mad, the guy's going to go mad for a few seconds, so I'll stabilize the position, okay, and then eventually, I need my knees on the mat to mine. So this time, I'm going to do my what time is the grip. So we looked at three different head pressures. One was the cross face, second one was the what time is the grip. So basically, I just put my fist on his shoulder, and I lean my forearm into his neck, and I'm looking at my watch. What time is it? And i got to be really nasty here. I'm going to keep doing this, until this hand comes inside and makes that pull up grip. This is what I want, yes. This, this is coming down, okay, making, but I've got to get that reaction. So if I'm just light on this, on this throat, I'm not going to get it. So this hand comes inside. The second it does, there's an open elbow here. So I just do the same as the last arm bar. So one, my elbow slides in, and two, I'm going to make this grip, okay. Three, I'm going to re-grip on top of the head, okay. And I'm making him listen, okay, to his um, ear. So let's take it up and start again. So it's kind of basically the same um, at the start as the cross piece one. We're going to add in one more detail because I really want this arm as far across, nearly into that gift wrap position that I can. So when I do my what time is a grip here, and he makes that grip, one, I'm going to slide my knee up, two, this hand grabs, so if Kirby tries to get his elbow on the mat, it's, it's more difficult. Okay, let's just keep it back there, bro. So from there, see the way his elbow's in my hip? I really want it in the middle of my gut. So I'm letting go with this hand, and I just find the elbow, and I lift my hip a little bit, and I shelf it to the bit there, and then I'm gonna arch my back. So if he tries to get that elbow back, it's difficult. I want it in my gut, okay? So, I have my grip, I've got this in the middle of my grip, then I do my move. So I make him listen to his ear, but now I want it even further. So, I'm going to sprawl this leg back, okay, all the weights on my hands, okay. And now I'm going to smear this forward, try and get this elbow as far forward as I can. Now my legs are light, okay, all the weights on my hands. So I slide my knee up, and now I'm into my s my position. I haven't even attacked the arm yet, okay. So again, I'm pulling with my hands, making this to the shoulder, I'm engaging my hip, then my left hand comes into the crook of his arm, still have the grip of the right, lean towards his legs, swing my leg over, then I find the wrist, pinch my knees, heels back, and now I'm into my arm bar. Good arm bar, my back doesn't be on the mat because I'm creating tension in the arm, so my feet are together, knees are together, bad arm bar, if it's loose, I should be all the way back here trying to lift my hips. So I want to really create tension. So, from the start, six my face, arms, in my lockdown position, so my ankles are crossed, pressure, stabilizing that position, and then eventually when the moment's right, his hand goes in his throat, and I start making that what time is it grip until I get that reaction. I'm trying to pull this. Okay, so one, my knee slides up, and two, I grip his head so he can't get his elbow to the mat. Now, I really want this elbow 
move from here to here. So I just put my hand here, lift my sternum a little bit, drive it across, and then I arch my back. So I'm kind of bent up like this. I want to refrain from coming down because I'm not going to keep the control of that elbow. So my, my back is curved. Second grip comes in, you make him listen to his ear. So both hands are on the mat. Okay, now I'm going to drive this forward even more. So I'm straightening this leg and I'm using my core to drive this up as far as I can. If Kipper tries to get that elbow back, it's not going to happen. I'm going to smash to the mat. Because the weight's on my hands, my legs are light. So now I can just switch to the last minute. I haven't even went for the arm yet. I'm just controlling the head. The arm bar is all about controlling the head. From here, I'll swim in, sorry, my left hand in, make my grip, and I'll lean towards his legs so he can step over. Pinch my knees, my feet tight together, I find the wrist, and then I'm back. I'll just use marks so you can see quickly. Yeah, so the bottom. So again, from side control, the mount, so that lockdown position we looked at at week one, my ankles are crossed, skydiving on them, stabilizing the position, pinning his hips. And the moment's right, I'm moving into mount in this hand. So what time is it grip? So I put my hand on the shoulder, leaning in to get that reaction. This is what I want. I have to be nasty, driving this in. He wants to pull this back. Open elbow. So I slide my left knee up, right hand grabs the ear. Okay, that stops him getting his elbow to the mat. Because if I'm not controlling that, he can move his head that way, and then he gets his elbow to the mat, which I don't want. Okay? So, next move is, I want to get this elbow more in towards my gut. So my right hand controls, the left hand just pushes. I'll lift my hips up a little bit. And as I smear it across, I want to keep it there, so I just arch my back. So he tries to bring that back. I want to keep that there. It's nearly in the gift wrap position. Second hand comes in, I make him listen to his shoulder. And now, all the weight's on my hands, okay? I'm using my core, so I, sp I just sprawl my leg back driving forward. I want this smash right into the gift wrap position. Nearly as if I'm trying to wrist lock him here. Okay, but now my legs are light, so I can slide my left knee behind his head as my right comes all the way up into S mount. I haven't even attacked this arm yet. It's all about head control. So I'm pulling his head into his shoulder and I'm engaging my hip. Mark's trying to escape his right arm. It's going to be very, very difficult. Now I'm swimming this in. Knee towards his leg. This leg comes around, feet together, heels back, pinch my knees, and as I sit back, find the wrist. Good time. So, from side control, this is side control, control the knee, take a step over, close guard, good skydiving, and make by what time is it grip? Say transition to the mount, so my knees are on the mat. Driving this in, the second he makes this, one, two. Hand comes here, lift, drop, arch my back, okay? Second hand comes in, make him listen to the shoulder, and then I'm putting all the weight on my hands, so my fists are on the mat, and I sprawl this leg back, and I use my core, I want to drive this as far forward as I can, as if I'm nearly trying to wrist lock him here. All the weights in my hands and my legs are right. So I'm just swimming this inside. Feel it in. From here, swing back, keep it tight, find the wrist. Okay. Let's play that guys, yeah.